Hey Divas, how you doing? It's your girl Grace, aka Face Quizit here. And today, Divas, I just want us to chat, you know. Um, today I'm doing another Auntie Grace Speaks series. Um, the intention was to do a lot more of these, but um, sometimes you will, but there's no time or, you know, for whatever reason, I have been unable to do more of the Auntie Grace Speaks, but I will try my best and do, as, do it as often as I can. Okay, divas, so today we are going to be talking about seven things that brides need to know before sitting in the makeup chair on this special day. All right, divas? Okay, first and foremost, let me introduce myself properly so that you know that I am somewhat qualified to talk about this issue. Okay, divas? So I am a professional makeup artist. I have been, I'm a makeup artist and, educate, and a makeup educator, and I have been for over 20 years. So, you know, not to sound cocky or anything, I do know my onions, thank you very much. So I am talking from experience. I am not just making things up. I'm actually talking from experience. Um, I was inspired to do this video after seeing a video of another makeup artist who I think she spoke about um, things that makeup artists wished you knew. So, and I could relate to what she was saying and I'm thinking, hmm, I'm gonna do something, um, you know, for my brides, you know, because I work with a lot of brides. I don't, I can't, even remember how many brides I've done. Like I said, I've been doing this thing for over 20 years professionally. So, and I, I also teach makeup. So, um, I have got a, a, a vast wealth of experience and I'm just gonna keep it real with you today, divas. Okay? All right, divas. So, um, let's get into it, my darlings. So, I have written some notes here just so that I do not forget. All right, divas. Let's start with this. There is no such thing as natural makeup on your wedding day, divas. And let me clarify this. So you get, I get brides come to me with a picture of this gorgeous model looking all so natural, you know, just glorious in her picture on her wedding day. And they come to me and they want to look exactly like that. Or they want me to create something that natural. Truth be told, that picture that looks so natural is not very natural. It's probably got tons of makeup on, um, it's been airbrushed and so on and so forth. However, we can keep we can give you a bridal look, so neutral eyes if you want, we can make it neutral lips. But the truth of the matter is, your makeup on your wedding day cannot look the same as your everyday makeup. It's not gonna work. Don't forget that on your wedding day, you're going to be rocking that makeup from very early in the morning for the rest of the day. Um, yes, you will be touched up and um, you know, but the truth of the matter is you're gonna be taking pictures, um, you know, there's flashlight and let me tell you the camera, the light of the camera is brutal. It will show every floor. Okay. So don't come with the expectation of having extremely like, oh, just the uh, uh, tinted moisturizer and just a little bit of powder. Sweetheart, that is not going to work for you on your wedding day. I mean, if you want it, I can give it to you. No problem. But the truth of the matter is when you look back at your pictures, you're not going to like it because this makeup is easily going to disintegrate. It's not going to have the staying power. I always tell my bride, I know you want it to be natural. I know you don't want it cakey. It's not going to look cakey. However, it might feel a bit heavier than what you're used to because I want it to last. And the truth of the matter is every single person, not just my bride, every single person, to God be the glory, whose makeup I have done have come back to say to me, I cannot believe my makeup lasted all day. Day. like when I was going to wash off my face at night it was still there some people have kept my makeup the makeup I've done for them till the following day because they wanted to go out the following day I don't recommend this because you are playing with pimples but people have done it and they have gotten away with it I don't know how even I can't keep makeup till the next day but people have done it 
you know there are techniques to it you will look flawless you will look natural when you look at your pictures you will love it but sweetheart you're going to need a little bit more than what you wear on a normal day-to-day -day basis okay sweetheart so that is the first thing there really isn't such thing as natural makeup on your wedding day so yes it will look natural but it might not necessarily feel as natural as you know you want it to be but we can do that too if that's what you want just don't come blaming me when everything disintegrates an hour into the church service all right divas okay next thing is bargaining please divas when you ask a makeup artist for their price especially an experienced makeup artist because there's everybody so many people out there now that are makeup artists of course let me tell you one thing the fact that somebody on youtube does a great slayage on themselves and their makeup looks flawless all of the time does not mean that they can do your makeup it does not mean they can do somebody else's makeup nine out of ten times they cannot they are scared they don't have the expertise to do makeup on themselves now when you've done makeup on uh, sorry on somebody else when you've done makeup on yourself over and over and over you have mastered the art of your face and how to make you look good when it comes to doing other people's makeup it's a different story entirely they come with different features they come with different likes different expectations you know what you like you don't know what that person likes or what they want you don't know what you know you're not familiar with their facial features so it's a different ball game entirely when you are working with somebody else so because somebody is on YouTube as a youtuber and they do great makeup on themselves please don't expect that person to do great makeup on you I know of makeup artists on YouTube. Well, not I won't say makeup artists because they don't claim to be makeup artists. Um, beauty influencers who have ventured into makeup artistry because they have a strong following and quickly realized that, oh my God, I can't do this. They made a mess of it. They ran back and they're sticking to their um, being a beauty influencer on YouTube. Yes, it's fine to learn from people on YouTube, you know, and how to do your own or improve your own makeup. But when it comes to your wedding day, your wedding day or any um, special occasion for that matter, you want the best. You want to look good. You want a professional. You want somebody who knows what they're doing. So please, when a professional makeup artist says the price they charge, don't buy game, please. It's not Oyingbo Market now. It's not Oyingbo Market. I've had people who they call me and they, and I tell them their price and they're like, ah, ah, is it not makeup? Yes, it is makeup. Do it yourself if you're that good at it. I mean, this is not to be cocky, but I find it very insulting when somebody's trying to put down my expertise, my, you know, professionalism, and they just try and rubbish what I do. I have invested a lot of money into my uh, into developing my expertise as a makeup artist i have attended courses seminars i have paid thousands of pounds to go to learn you know how to finesse this art history because it's an art you know if you're gonna pay um thousands of uh if, if, if you pay hundreds of pounds for a tattoo artist for those of you who do tattoos you know that it's not cheap so we are artists too makeup artists the ones who know what they're doing i'm not saying that you can't get somebody cheap that's going to do a good job but most of the time look you will get what you pay for right if you pay 20 pounds for makeup don't expect a hundred pounds don't expect a hundred pounds sorry about that that's my phone don't expect a hundred pounds or 250 or whatever pounds um result you get what you pay for okay divas so if you want something good on your wedding day go for the best and don't haggle prices don't haggle prices and don't rubbish somebody's work if you come to me and i tell you my price and you're like ah is it not makeup already i know i'm not gonna take that job because you don't respect my work so why should i 
waste my time and energy and nine out of ten times they are the most difficult clients they're the ones who want everything for nothing now i don't use crappy products on my clients i use good quality products i use the best products that cost me a lot of money now you want all that and then i'm going to drive to you you know burn my petrol my time i do apologize for this someone's left a message for me and you know and you don't want to pay i mean who does that if you're going to pay for your hairstylist pay hundreds and or even thousands for your dress why won't you pay for your makeup to look nice because let me tell you no matter how nice you look on your wedding day if your hair and makeup is not on fleek it just makes everything else look substandard okay so no bargaining divas when a makeup artist gives you their quote it's because they know their worth and they know what they're gonna give you okay so accept it like that and if you don't like it there's no hassle there's no fights now you can just go on to the next makeup artist and maybe they would reduce it and sometimes you know if if you meet them in a good mood or something hap happens that day and they're just in a really good mood maybe they'll work with you but it's how you come across anyway moving on it's not in boom again don't haggle next thing have a realistic expectation of what your makeup would look like on your wedding day have realistic expectations on what you want for example if you come to your makeup artist yes we expect you to have an idea of what you want because then we meet you halfway we can advise like if you come to me now i always ask because i want to know what you envisage how you envisage yourself looking on your special day because every bride has a picture i mean come on as you know you start to imagine this day from when you're a little girl starts from wanting to be a princess and then you know then you start to envision yourself on your wedding day looking all kinds of fabulous oh just looking all so beautiful so you have that image in your head already as to what you want to look like so i always ask first what are you looking for how do you see yourself on your wedding day? And then I work with them in terms of let them realize whether we can or cannot achieve that look based on their features or not that whether we can achieve it or whether that look would work for them. You know, I like to meet people halfway and say, okay, I get what you're saying, but maybe that particular, for example, lippy color might not necessarily pop on you or it might be a bit too bright on you. How about we use this color, which is similar, maybe in a different tone. For example, if it's a red, maybe a different kind of red or, you know, if um, you come to me now, for example, and you say, oh, you want this and the person's face is very chiseled and you've got chubby cheeks and all that. And you're also one person that says, oh, I don't like too much makeup. I don't want that. Blah, blah, blah then your, your expectations are not realistic. So yes, come with an idea of what you want, but also listen to your makeup artists, listen to their advice, because believe it or not, we want you to look good on your wedding day. I promise you that I want my clients to look good because if they don't look good, I don't feel happy. Why wouldn't you look good on your wedding day? You know, I'm a perfectionist. I will give you my best, but work with me. And don't call all your friends and say, oh, come and see. What do you think about this? This is a look, know for yourself what you want because nine out of ten times, some friends, I'm sorry, because this has happened a lot and this is real. Some friends don't want you to look as nice as them, even though it's your wedding day. They think it's about them. So don't call all your friends and say, Oh, um, I just had my trial, and then you send the picture to all of them. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing a Wendy Williams. I've got lipstick all over my teeth. Yeah, so don't send your picture to them and say, oh, look at this. What do you think? Some of them will always rubbish. Ah, look at that. It's too much now. And the truth of the matter is when you come for your trial, right, it can never look as nice as you would look on your wedding day because on your wedding day, everything is there. You know, you have your hair. It's done perfectly. You've got your jewelry on, your dress. Everything works together to create this wonderful image, you know, so it's everything everything ties together So you see the full beauty on your wedding day. So whatever 
um, the trial looks like, whatever, however you look in your trial, just know that on your wedding day, you're going to look 10 times better. I promise you that that's always the case. That's always been my experience. Simply because on your wedding day, you, everything ties together. You have your hair done, your jewelry, your makeup, your, your dress, and you just look like a princess and you look so fabulous. So, you know, reduce the number of people. You start showing your pictures. Oh, what do you think? What do you think? They don't want you to look good, sweetheart. No, they do not. Don't be fooled though. They don't. Mm? They don't. They're envious. I've had a bride come to me for her trial. She brought her friend and um, her friend came. She had a full face of makeup on. Her hair, her hair was on fleek. I mean, her friend was looking really nice. She was a bit on the heavy side. I don't know. But the friend was looking really nice. And this girl came and I did her makeup. And it was a friend that kept saying, ah, isn't that too much? Isn't that too much? And then eventually she said something that really shocked me. Her friend said, does she have to wear makeup? Ah. And I'm looking at the girl like, but look at you, look at your makeup, your makeup is beat, you're wearing eye, no, she's, she goes, oh, does she have to wear eyeshadow, that's what she said, does she have to wear eyeshadow, like, really, look at your eyeshadow, look at your, your lipstick, look at your makeup on fleek, and you're asking me, if you're bright, ah, what kind of friend are you, so she managed to convince the girl, and they were hugging, and I just said, you know what, maybe you should find somebody else, because uh, I couldn't deal. Her friend was just giving me stress and the girl I felt was a bit weak. She didn't know what she wanted. It was her friend that was telling her everything and she kept changing things and in the end I had to send, I just said sorry but I don't think it's going to work. Maybe you should find somebody else. And that was the end of that. So, bottom line. You know what you want to do this. The next thing on my list is don't be rude. Please don't be rude. Do not be rude. If you're rude, I will pack my things and I will leave. Don't be rude to me, because if you're rude to me, I will go, I'll walk away and you won't get your money back. There's no need to be rude. I will work with you, you know. If you're not happy about anything, tell me. Let's, let's, that's why we have makeup trials, especially for my bride. Not that you need one, but I do makeup trials just so that the bride knows exactly what she wants and she's happy. So that on the day, there's no drama. She knows exactly what she wants. But some girls, they trust me enough not to want a trial and they still look beat. They look fabulous on their wedding day, okay? But I do that makeup trial for people who really just want to see what they're going to look like on the day. So, you know, if you're rude to me, it's not, well, how did I get back into a makeup trial? We're talking about don't be rude. <laughs> anyway, don't be rude, Sha. That's what I'm saying because I've had people who come with all sorts of attitude and I'm not for it. I will not have it because nine out of 10 times I'm going to be older than you and I am Nigerian and I am Yoruba and we believe in respecting our elders. Yes, I said it, my darlings. I love you, but don't be rude to me. If you're rude to me, I will check you. As nice as I am, as playful as I am, if you are rude to me, I will check you. And if you keep being rude, I will pack my things and I will leave and you will lose your deposit. I've had this done, I've had it before, you know, and the girl quickly got a hold of herself. This wasn't even on, it was prior to um, the traditional, the scale had booked me for her engagement as well. Engagement as in Nigerian traditional wedding, we call it engagement. So they have that um, a few days to the wedding or a week to the wedding or, you know, they have it before the wedding day itself. So she had booked me for that as well as her wedding. And then, of course, she kept calling and calling. She was quite dramatic. And um, so I don't know, I can't even remember the story. This was a while back. And then all of a sudden she started giving me lip. Ah. So I was like, excuse you, stop. Who do you think you're talking to? And she's like, ah, is it not your money? Is it not your money that you collect? I said, what money? How much are you paying me? You know, that, that gives you the audacity to be rude to me. How old are you? I'm old enough to be your auntie, not even your big sister. Your auntie, you will not talk to me like that. And I slammed the phone on her. But before I slammed the phone on her, I told her to go and find another makeup artist. So I dropped the phone. She was so out of line. And me, I would take and take and take. I take. I take a lot because, you know, you have to be professional in this business. But in being professional does not mean people being rude to me. I will not accept that. So I had to check her and bring her down several notches. Like, I am not your mate. I am not your mid. I am not your servant. I'm just providing a service which you're paying for. You require this service. I'm going to provide it at a cost. You are not going to be rude to me. 
but that's just how she was because the girl was later rude to other service providers anyway blah de, blah de, blah my point is don't be rude because if you're rude even if the person doesn't like you know i'm like that i, I i'm one person that i don't know how to hold a grudge what you see right now is what you get if you're rude to me i'll check you that's it and i've moved on that's not to say when i see you next time uh, no come on we're not kids are we are we in kindergarten no we that's that's it so i'm gonna check you there and there and keep it moving and then if i don't want to work with you i'll let you know look sweetheart i don't think it's gonna work you're rude i cannot tolerate your rudeness find someone else by the way in fact on that particular occasion i said to the girl you know what i normally don't refund deposits on this occasion i'm willing to make an exception send me your account details I will refund the money and she started apologizing because she knew she had crossed the line so I'm just saying don't be rude because you don't want somebody canceling on you last minute because of your rudeness because I would never cancel on anyone never except you really push me and you're being rude and all that nonsense I'm not gonna take it okay so don't be rude and also you want you, you know you want somebody to make you look really nice on your special day you may i go above and beyond when i provide myself i go above and beyond i help with everything i help dress them up you know i help with everything i won't go until the bride is out of her hotel room or wherever i won't i'll i'll help her i'll help you know i go above and beyond sometimes i you know i help the the mother of the bride and even if it's a traditional i know that a lot of these girls they don't know how to tie the nigerian wrapper and all that i help with that i go above and beyond why not i see you as my younger sister so being rude is not gonna because the things that the extras that you should get you won't get it you know you just get you know what you've paid for and i'll keep it moving and then you'll be there stranded but that's just not in my nature but you know and it's not just me other makeup artists some makeup artists they will deal with you because if you're the, if they're doing your makeup and you're being rude to them they might not even say anything but they won't do a good job on you because they're already angry and you've messed up their mood so it's not worth it let's be kind to each other and at the end of the day we're both happy okay do you all righty then next pearlies divas please i beg you in god's name let me know if you have any allergies or if you have an eye infection or any kind of infection. I mean, I always ask. Anyway, <laughs> I, I make it a point of duty to ask. But don't lie. Let me know, okay? Because I don't want to catch your allergies. I, I, you know, if you got, what's that thing in the eye that is very contagious? I know that you still have to do your makeup for your wedding. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that. But let me know so I know how to work around it so that we are all safe. Okay, divas? Just communicate with the sister. Let me know, okay? Don't pretend and say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And there, your eyes are so red. And, you know, don't say, oh, it's because I haven't had enough rest. I've been running around because of this wedding. No, just be honest with me and let's work together so that your infection doesn't get worse and nobody else gets infected. Okay, divas? So let's be straight and if there's anything that you're allergic to if you've got sensitive skin and all that communicate that with me though i would always ask but you may get a makeup artist that's not going to ask you please communicate with them okay okay so the sixth one is that just so you know i do clean my brushes okay i was working with a nigerian celebrity once and um very very popular if i mentioned the person's name you would know you know but i'm not going to mention her name i've worked with a number of them and most of them are really nice this one is actually an older person and um as i went to um apply powder or something on her face with my brush she went like this are those brushes clean oh i was livid I was livid. I'm looking at this woman thinking, number one, who do you think you are? Like your path, you, 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 your reign is almost over, you know? It's the way she asks. Like you could clearly see that my brushes are clean. Are those brushes clean? I don't want any dams on my face so. <laughs> I was like, excuse you. But she was a lot older than me so I wasn't going to be disrespectful. So I just said, yes ma the brushes are i always clean my brushes i would never put anything dirty on you and she was mm -hmm. you know very snooty and ah, it rubbed me up the wrong way but you know what as much as i don't as i don't like this i don't like 
people disrespecting me. I don't disrespect people. She was a lot older than me and I just took it as a good, well brought up Yoruba girl whose mother raised well. <laughs> I just bit my lip and I just did this woman's makeup even though I was livid and she kept doing <laughs> throughout, you know, and as soon as we finished, you know, people came in and they're like, oh wow, look at you, girl. Eh, it's okay. Ah, <laughs> I was livid, you know. But, you know, you get this as well, and we know how to deal with it. But she was lucky that day because she was an older person, because I would have checked her. But like I said, Yoruba girl raised well. My mother taught me well, and I retaught myself. Let me say something in Yoruba. And those of you who can translate, translate it down below. <laughs> Let's see who gets that right. All right, divas, moving on swiftly. I do clean my brushes um, and, um, you know, I clean everything that I use. I sanitize my products. I clean my brushes. So, you know, don't worry. If you're, you know, there's nothing wrong in apps. Just say, you know, say, if you hear said to me, oh, sweetheart, please, um, you know, I'm, I'm, my skin is quite sensitive. Um, so, you know. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know, you know, just hit me like that and I, and I would reassure her that, oh, madam, don't worry, my brushes are clean, everything is clean and, you know, and that would be it. But I just didn't like the, hmm, are those brushes clean kind of thing. I was like, you know, I couldn't do that to her face though. <laughs> I wish I could, but she was a lot older than me. So like I said, my mother taught me well. I'm well brought up and I have been taught to respect my elders, but that's not necessary, you know. We shouldn't do that because imagine how that made me feel. I felt quite belittled. Okay, divas. Um, also, last but not the least, and I mentioned this earlier, deposits are non-refundable, divas. So before you pay your deposit to your makeup artist of choice, make sure well, for me anyway, and I know a lot of prof us professional makeup artists, I don't know about anybody else, but I would not do a job unless, I wouldn't even book your job. It would not be in my diary unless you pay my deposit, right? And I, I collect 50% upfront. So when that 50% hits my bank, and I know it's there, sitting pretty, that's when I will now confirm your booking in my diary. But I will let you know that it is non-refundable. I'll let you know from so that you don't go and uh, pay the money now and expect a refund and say, oh, something happened. And, no, sorry, no. Because once I seal it in my diary, I'm not taking any other bookings. If people come to me and they, they're offering me bigger jobs, I still say no, because it's not about the money. It's about my reputation. It's about my integrity. And I don't want it to be at stake. So, you know, I will say no once I confirm your booking but at the same time, you know, I let you know up front. So just know that because that's the standard. Even if they, if people don't tell you, you know, that's it, you know, your deposit is non-refundable. As my people say, Olele Tobasi won echo, go to Jadimo. This Olele has entered the echo and it is not coming out again. <laughs> Another one for you to translate, eh, divas? Sorry. I just love my language. One day, you know, a lot of divas have been doing um, tutorials in Yoruba. I'm going to try it one of these days. It's going to be hard though because we tend to mix a lot of English. Us, you know, this generation anyway, we tend to mix a lot of English with our Yoruba. It's not like conk. I can't speak the conk one, even though my Yoruba is very good. I'm going to try it one of these days. Pray for me. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that next actually. But yeah. Basically, my point is once you've paid your deposits, unfortunately, it's not it's not it's non-refundable. So please make sure you check, check that person's work, find out what you need to find about them. If they have a social media, um, go and check their work. Though some people, for example, myself, um, I don't post a lot of my work on social media anymore. I used to back in the days. I don't do that anymore. Maybe once in a while I'll post um you know what i've done on my clients but nine out of ten times i don't post the work that i do on my clients on on social media just out of respect some people don't like it some do some will ask me to some say oh you didn't post my picture and then sometimes i'll post it sometimes i just it's late now i can't be bothered you know i just out of respect 
nine out of ten times I don't and some people don't like it they don't like you posting their pictures plus a lot of people like my clients uh, hmm. I don't want to say celebrities because they're not all celebrities but I do work with a number of high-profile people and they don't want it they just don't and I already know that and I respect that so out of respect for them I just don't I don't put them I don't put it out but you see lots of you see some of people I've done and then you see a lot for, for me but you know generally you should go and check the person's previous work and just make sure that you know you're happy with, with what you see and if possible speak to people who they have you know whose makeup they've done in the past or I don't know just do your research before you pay the deposit because once you pay the deposit that's it if you later change your mind and want to go with someone else unfortunately you will not um be able to get your refund back okay divas now i'm just going to throw in a couple of bonuses if you like because i've done my seven um but this one is um an advice to my brides just before your wedding day um i'll say maybe um, three weeks prior to your wedding like if you want to have a facial for example make sure you have it months before don't leave it to like a week before your wedding because some people um, when they have facials they break out like big lumps on their face you know and you don't want that on your wedding day so if you're planning on having um, a facial um, prior to, to your wedding and it's your first time you've never had a facial before or it's a different kind of facial to what you're used to then please 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 do it like three months before just see how you react and then if you're if everything is good maybe the hair maybe you want to have another one there at the time but don't take that risk okay because you know at the end of the day you want to look your best on your wedding day you don't want to have lumps all over your face so please 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 make sure that you do that and also um, if you've been drinking uh, soda and all that and just, you know, Americans call it soda, we call it fizzy drinks here in the UK. If you've been drinking a lot of that, then, you know, I'd say at least three months to your wedding, if you can cut that out and just drink lots and lots of water. I'm guilty, I'm guilty, because I've got a sweet tooth. Though I don't like fizzy drinks, but I take sweet things. But if you can cut that out prior to your wedding, say three months and just drink lots of water and moisturize, just moisturize your skin very well. I tell you, on your wedding day, your face is going to be glowing, okay? So that's the second bonus. And um, thirdly, get lots of sleep. Make sure you get your eight hours a day for at least a month prior to your wedding because don't, if you're stressed, you're gonna break out. You know, avoid anything that's going to make your skin break out. Get lots and lots of rest prior to your special day and you'll see the results. Okay, divas? Anyway, that's enough for now, my darlings. I hope that you found that useful. I hope, I do apologize if I came across a bit strong. Um, you know, some of the things I said, um, I was just talking from experience. Um, it's coming from a good place, divas. You know, it's coming from a good place. All right, divas. So, um, yeah, that's it. If you have any um, questions, leave it in the comments down below and I will try as much as possible to respond to you. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do go ahead and like it. Um, also, click on the subscribe button as well as the bell next to it so you get notification anytime I post a video. Also go ahead and share this video, share it on all your social media platforms. Um, and um, yeah, follow me on social media. I am at Facequizit on all my social media platforms. It is scrolling on the screen as I speak. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it my divas, that is it. Until next time, stay absolutely fabulous, stay on freak. Remember that Jesus loves you and I, your girl, your ace, your paddy, your sister. I love you so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, stay fabulous. Love you loads. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.